some background music going. We've got a little fireplace TV on. We've got the tree up. And we're gonna make some pancakes. So I wanted to start this vlog off here. I probably won't film the whole day. I'll just show little clips of today because I wanna take a little bit of today off. Tonight we're going over to my family's house. They live about 30 minutes away from us. So we're gonna go have Christmas Eve dinner with them, which should be really fun. And they just got a new hot tub. So it's gonna be like Christmas Eve party plus hot tubbing. And then tomorrow for Christmas morning, we are hosting brunch at our house. So I'll show a little bit of that as well and after that we have some big moves to make on the new house this will be our last christmas in this house how weird so i'll take you along for what we get into at the new house it's very exciting it's our christmas present to ourselves that we're going to be setting up and that is the reason we literally didn't get each other other christmas presents this year so let's make pancakes and get into the rest of christmas eve morning and i hope wherever you are i know you're seeing this after christmas but i hope you had a lovely holiday and are getting ready for a fun new year We're dressed and ready to go <laughs> to the Christmas Eve party at my parents' house. This is the little outfit I'm wearing, very casual. We're just gonna eat some food, hang out, probably play cards. It's gonna be a very chill Christmas Eve, but I'm excited my grandparents will be there and it'll be sweet. The only thing is this guy doesn't get to come. I come bearing the cutest little wrapped gifts. how adorable this PJ set is for Maji. Today we're hosting Christmas morning brunch, so I'm spending the morning just getting ready for that. I'm getting myself ready right now. I'm gonna curl my hair, do a little makeup, and pick out a cute outfit, and then we're gonna get ready with the house. So we have to do a quick tidy, and then start making all the brunch food. And everyone is coming over, so I'm really excited. This feels like one of our first like adult things, because usually the grandparents host or my parents host, but we're hosting this one, and it feels awesome. So let's get this morning started. I'm so excited. Luke is in here getting a little Christmas day workout. Oh no, get out of there. No, sir. He already busted into this one, so we had to put it up. And then look, this, I made these last year, but they're still my favorite ornaments ever. They're little seashells made into ornaments. Are you excited to open your presents? I think one of my goals for the new year is to upgrade my makeup and skincare products to be more clean and just quality because I feel like I've just tried a bunch of random stuff from PR which I'm very very grateful for but I want to find stuff that I just like truly love rave about can recommend and ones that actually have really clean ingredients too so if you have any recommendations please drop some comments because I think I'm gonna have to go to Sephora and do like a little mini haul after Christmas and start revamping everything I heard of a brand I think it's Ilia I want to try that brand out today we're going pretty El Naturel just a little bit of bronzer some mascara some eyeshadow and 
some clear brow. Now I think we're gonna curl this hair because it's looking mighty frizzy and why not? It's Christmas, right? I really should have slept in the legging curls last night because I just feel like I'm frying my hair completely with this thing, but oh well. I never thought I'd really say this, but I'm so excited to have a house full of kids someday, hopefully, because I feel like Christmas just is so much more magical with little kids in your life and I don't have any little cousins or really any little kids in my life. Lucas has some on his side, but like I just wanna make everything so magical on Christmas for them and spoil them and create fun family traditions and go on little trips to cabins and I'm just excited to give them the best childhood ever and I'm not saying I'm ready I'm not saying I'm ready but I will say that I'm getting progressively more excited I honestly think I could have like four or five running around and would love that but I'm afraid of birthing four or five of them <laughs> Like actually terrified of that. Okay, here is what we finished with, with hair and makeup. I'm hoping these will fall a little bit if I brush them out maybe. And now we gotta pick out an outfit. I got this new fun bright reddish orange sweater from Run the Runway. So I think I'm gonna try that. And then I'm gonna try the jeans that came in too. They're made well and they're like the flare, flare cut kind of. Wide leg crop. That's what it's called. So let's put this on and see what that looks like. One thing I'm excited for the new house is to be able to show you guys outfit fits without having to stand on this. Because the lighting is much better in here than in any other room, but I'm wearing some Adidas. I think the outfit came together cute. It's giving wholesome host and I'm here for it. So let's go whip up this food. They should be here very soon. <laughs> Really can't draw. <laughs> Brindley, you can't draw. <laughs> you guys Z Z just difficult. Bigfoot. Scary monster. Z Downhill. Z Best Z boys. Ball. Margarita. <laughs> Potato chips. <laughs> Peanut. Yep. <laughs> Enter. No. Uh, fight. Sword fight. It's 4.30 p.m. right now. Ziggy's pulling me. We're on a little walk. But we just left the family. So they were here pretty much all morning. It was a really good brunch. Then we played um, Pictionary, which was so fun. And then we drove down to our new house to show my grandparents because they haven't seen it yet. So it's been fun. We're going to wrap it up with a little walk. And then we were just talking. It's so weird. Like as soon as Christmas Day is over, it's like, oh, okay. This whole thing that we've been preparing for all month is just done. It feels so strange. So we're like, do we take down the Christmas tree? Do we get the house back to normal? What do we do? But <laughs> his family is actually coming in town next for New Year's. So we're kind of celebrating Christmas again with them. So I think we'll end up we leaving a, it. We get another week, baby. Yeah, so we'll have a few days in between and then they'll come. And then I guess we'll undecorate the house. But for now, we're just gonna be on this little walk. We're headed to the gym, a new gym actually, because to be honest, I just didn't feel like working out at home today. I need people around me today. I don't know why, I can't really explain it. I just need that for an extra bit of motivation. So I'm trying out like a day pass at a different gym in our area to see if I like it. I think once we have the gym built at the other house, I'll get some more motivation back, but something about it today was just like, you need to be around people. So that's what we're doing. I'm also on my phone because I can't find my vlog camera right now. I'm sorry about the quality change. I I drank a lot of pre-workout 30 minutes ago and I should have started drinking it now. So we're gonna speed our butt to the gym, get into a quick workout and get on with the day.
Wow, that is exactly what I needed, you guys. I feel so good. And I truly was like in love with the workout the whole time in a way that I haven't felt in a while. So this is your sign. If you need a little switch up, maybe try switching your gyms or just place your working out in general because I feel on top of the world now. Today is a day Lucas and I have been waiting for for so long. We are building our barrel sauna. In our previous gym, we did have a sauna. It was an indoor sauna and we have had our eye on a barrel sauna that goes outdoor that gets a little bit hotter for so long. We really wanted to learn about them and pick the right choice. And we have the opportunity to work with redwood saunas, which I just need to pause for a second. And like, that doesn't even feel real to me. It is such a blessing, such a honor to get to work with such a dream brand. I'll pop some of their pictures on the screen so you can see like what type of saunas they have. But we're unboxing ours today and building the whole thing. And we're gonna show you the process of it. Redwood has so many incredible options on their website. And I know that a sauna is not just like linking a fun makeup product or clothing or something under here. I know a sauna is a huge investment, but if you are thinking about getting really serious about investing in your health and creating a home that has things that are meant to totally transform your health from the inside out and invest in things that are truly gonna benefit you, I would fully recommend Redwood to anybody and we're gonna drop our link in the description. So if you've had your eye on some sauna companies and you've been thinking like, what's a good one to choose? Definitely go browse Redwood. There's a ton of different financing plans. I mean, there's like, you can pay monthly. The first sauna that we bought, we were paying monthly for it. I think a lot of people think you just have to buy it all in one chunk, but it can be a monthly payment, just like you would pay for a gym membership or anything else that's meant to benefit your health and wellness lifestyle. Um, this can be one of those things. So yeah, go check them out if you're somewhat interested. So we're gonna get to building it and take you along the journey and show you the final product. Let's go. We're underneath the house where the sauna is being built right now. And this is what we're working with. The other day we unpacked everything and just put everything down here so we could move the box out of the driveway. It came shipped to us in a big box. So these are all the pieces of the sauna. And then this concrete got done. It is dry to like move around and everything on, but you see how the color is a little bit different. This is fully dry and then this color will still change, but it's gonna go in this back corner right here. So I'm gonna set you guys up and just let you see the process of it coming together. So here we go. Sauna building starts now. Are you ready? I'm so ready. Look this at is, our diagram here. We this got is builder setup. number one, Lucas Joyner. Here is our diagram we're following. Yep, looking and good. They do, they do an awesome video here. There. Follow along. Walks you through the whole shindig, so. Hopefully we don't get in a fight. <laughs> if you know, you know, building furniture with your spouse is the ultimate test to a relationship. Yeah, we might get in a few little bickerments. I promise to use kind words and patience with you. What's he, what are you promising me? Um, I promise to accept that. We're definitely getting in a fight. having a honey meeting at an acai bowl shop today. So we're about to meet our friends there. This is the little outfit I'm wearing today because we actually got a cold front. So I'm wearing full on jeans, a t-shirt, and then this like warm cozy jacket. Got my hair in a little braid. I feel more put together than I have been in a while. This is from Rent the Runway and I'm loving it. That website, it's so fun. But yeah, let's go get acai. And then we have Christmas shopping for Lucas's family because they're coming in two days and we still need to pick up a few things for them even though it's past Christmas. And then going back to the house to finish the sauna. So it's gonna be a good day. Three 
8.45 and we're just now getting back to the sauna to work on it. So we only have like an hour and a half left of daylight. Um, the Formula Fresh meeting ended up going like way longer than we expected. And then Mary Margaret and I looked at each other and we were like, Sephora is right over there. <laughs> and so we ended up going into Sephora. The boys went to Starbucks and we just walked around for a bit. And now we finally made it back here. So we're gonna do the final touches. This is what she's looking like. But we still have a little bit of wood left and that's gonna be like the benches, the heater, and a few of the accessories. So we're gonna be working on that and I'll show you guys how it comes together. What are you doing? We are gonna round this thing out with a ratchet. Oh wow, okay. Ready? Here we go. dark last night and we never did the final reveal of the sauna because we still had to build the benches so that's gonna be this morning but we're here now at the house bright and early i made lucas the lazy girl pancake bowl how do you like oh, it man. are you it's a fan mm -hmm. and i wish you could have a bite of the lazy girl pancake bowl. the boys are a big fan of my pancake bowl but anyways we're gonna eat real quick and then work on the sauna a little bit more and then lucas's parents come in town today so we gotta rapido speed up and get everything done before they come in you guys one reason i absolutely cannot wait to move into this house is the nespresso machine that's here our previous nespresso machine was awesome but we did a little upgrade to the latissima and it has like a milk frother that apparently will froth your milk there and then put it into your cup and i haven't used that yet so we're gonna see how it works i've only done a regular cup of coffee in this thing let's figure this out together i think we'll go with festive black put you in there lock and now i have to figure out what to do with this i really should be reading the instructions but i don't feel like it okay i guess we're just gonna pour a little bit more and then i guess put this in here if this explodes milk everywhere i'm going to cry my eyes out okay I got this thing for $4 at Marshall's, literally. I love clearance sections. <laughs> clearance sections make me so happy. I'm nervous, let's see if this works. I guess we'll do this one. So far, so good. That is music to my ears. Okay, here comes the milk part. What's it gonna do? Come on, do something good, do something good. Hello? No way! Oh, this is the best thing ever. I'm actually freaking out right now. This is so cool. Well, that was a very tiny cup of coffee, but it does look good. You think it's done? All right, I guess it's done. Look at the lighting. Wow, stunning. I don't have any Kaiser's collagen or honey or anything here, so I don't know how this is gonna taste, but... Wow, that is so good. I need to figure out how to make it a bigger cup, but other than that, this thing's amazing. I love. I have two quick meetings, so I'm leaving Lucas to do the rest of the sauna by himself today. Whoopsies. But I feel like I've had way more meetings than usual. I think just because the year is wrapping up, so brands are kind of wanting to get in last minute collaborations, which is such a blessing and so fun. But I've felt like a busy bee lately. And honestly, I love it. I feel like I thrive in busyness, especially in the winter. If I'm not busy in the winter, that seasonal like mood disorder really gets to me. So I'm feeling so thankful for work lately and just thankful for, I guess, busyness in general. Cleaned it. I'm getting hungry, so we're gonna heat up my pancake bowl. I pre-made these this morning at like 6 a.m. for us because I knew we'd get hungry here. She is beautiful. Are you guys over me talking about my lazy pancake bowl already? It has become my whole personality. Pop her in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Slaps every time. All right, there is the final product. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. We'll take you inside. So we have the floorboard down, the heater right there, and this whole freaking barrel. It turned out so good. So our plan is we're gonna knock down this white wall here so that we can look out and still see the water, but that'll come down the road. But oh my gosh, 
This is amazing and it smells so good. It smells like fresh. What's the word? Fresh treated cedar. Fresh cedar. Are you happy with it? I love it. We gotta wipe down some windows. Redwood saunas, we are actually obsessed with you. The details of everything too. They've put so much thought into the design of this thing and every little detail that comes together to make it perfect is just, ah, I'm obsessed. Then, also, there will be a box around the heater. So there, I just haven't built Building that yet. Too. Woo! So thank you again, Redwood saunas, for sponsoring this video and for working with us. We're so excited to be partnered with you. We'll We'll put our Redwood Saunas link in the description if you guys are in the market for a sauna or just want to check out any of their products. It'll be all linked below.